Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at an app called uh, Ologo. Uh, this uh, is an educational augmented reality app that teaches uh, users about um, uh, different uh, STEM topics, I mean science, technology, engineering, engineering and mathematics. You can see some of the topics at the top like uh, biology, chemistry, uh, geography, mathematics, uh, physics and uh, animals. Just keep in mind that I was outside with my pocket Wi-Fi and the connectivity wasn't that good, that's why the images are loaded quite slowly. Uh, but uh, if you have a good internet connection, it will, much, it will load much faster. Now, Ologo has a growing library of AR experiences uh, that are designed to uh, give users um, applause and personal experience with various uh, topics. Um, I tried uh, several of them, but as you can see, there's a premium tag on most of them in each category. So we can only try out uh, one at the top. There's only one available for each category for you to try. This means that you need to pay a subscription in order to unlock all the other topics. Now this app is very similar to an other augmented reality app that I already reviewed called Jigspace, around the same idea, uh, using augmented reality to enhance the learning experience. Uh, it touches different type of topics, you have different type of categories, and again, the presentation is in AR and just looks beautiful, as you'll soon see. Wow, what? Oh, this is, oh, this is different. <laughs> All right, so actually this is a portal where you can actually, I'm here and I'm in uh, Japan and I move into this new <laughs> it's just, I just moved to another country in, uh, in just two seconds. Can you see this? We can move forward. And let's look like, back. We should see the portal. No, I want to go back to Japan. Ah, let's go back to Japan. All right, I'm in Japan. Yeah, I think a portal was really cool uh, in this particular for this particular topic. Uh, when you can visit the Colosseum in Rome by just stepping into the portal and then you can actually see the place, uh, the original place uh, and you can move back of course uh, by just uh, moving, physically moving with your feet into the portal and then you are again in the in the same place that you were before. There's also chemistry, geography, mathematics, oh, physics and animals, all right. Now the menus are arranged really beautifully and really simple in simple manner. It's very easy to understand what uh, each uh, subject is about and uh, it's very easy to browse through the different topics. You can also scroll down you know, to see more, to reveal more uh, items in the library. Overall, it's a very good design, very beautiful, colorful and very clear. So it's very easy to understand what you're doing uh, when you're browsing those menus. And keep in mind that those lessons are not uh, not preloaded. You need to when you tap, you need to load each one, and it can take some time. Depends on the type of lesson, of course, your internet connection. And one of the cool things about this app, about Ologo, I mean, compared to uh, Jigspace, is that uh, you can actually you actually have an uh, English narration that explains about the topic, which is really nice. Oh, so it looks first time we see it. Oh, okay. Uh... Let's press it. All right, so now what we see in front of us is the animal cell. So let's take a tour. Again, there's the cytoplasm. As mentioned earlier, this is a jelly-like substance in the cell. So the narration is really great because instead of reading text and just scrolling, you just need to look at, at this uh, cell uh, structure and you have somebody that uh, just uh, reads that information for you. So it's really comfortable and, and fun experience overall, uh, especially when you experience it through augmented reality. Your eyes are on the on the cell, on the visuals, and you just need to listen and just watch and enjoy watching uh, uh, this lesson. So as you can see at the bottom, there are two parts. Uh, the first one is uh, explore, which uh, you know just uh, shows you the um, uh, the presentation, visual presentation, and the learning. Uh, the learn is uh, the narration itself. Okay, you can rotate it. Oh, this is so cool! You can rotate it if you still just walking around it can actually just rotate it around and those knobs beautifully move oh this is beautiful just look at this beautiful I had the physics for those knobs beautiful 
some of the lessons, uh, like uh, this one uh, related to mathematics, uh, will load faster because it's uh, just a simple uh, um, primitive um, 3D shape, and of course with the audio and those knobs. But again, it's quite much less, so it loads very fast uh, compared to other one that contains um, high polygon uh, 3D models that takes some time to load, especially with the uh, high resolution textures. In front of us, we have a 3D model of a cube. We are tasked to find its volume, or in other words, how much space it takes up in a 3D plane. As you can see, some of the lessons that even have uh, background music. Again, it's the old experience. It's, it's the music, the narration, the really clean and beautiful visuals, the very clear uh, text and how the knobs, the physics of the knobs, how it, it moves, the ability to rotate it and even enlarge it. It's very comfortable. All you see in front of you is just, uh, you know, uh, the thing that you need to focus on. Uh, and without any distraction and so again the whole experience is very uh, visually very appealing now some people not just not like me uh, uh, can concentrate better when they have music but I didn't find any way to uh, uh, mute the music uh, during the lesson I wish there was an option maybe there is I didn't find any now wish there was an option to uh, just make the lesson elevated so it appears higher on the ground I didn't find any option to do this just enlarge it because sometimes, you know, I just don't want to look at the floor, I just want to look forward. Again, something I didn't find, uh, so something I want to see in the next version. So there isn't an option to uh, drag and reposition, uh, uh, I mean, using just swipe, but you can do this by just clicking the reset button. I just found it a bit later. When you click the reset, just reposition the, um, the lesson uh, in, you know, in the place where you're pointing your camera at. So talking about immerse, immersing yourself with the um, learning experience, this is really beautiful. Uh, the fact that you can actually uh, enlarge the 3D model, I mean, such a large scale and uh, watch a couple of, you know, it's like being in the zoo and having somebody uh, explain to you about, uh, you know, about this animal. I mean, I really like it. It's, it's just beautiful. I don't know in this particular case why when I moved uh, the 3D model, I actually wanted to move around the elephant to see it from different directions, but uh, instead of just rotating it, uh, it didn't work. I don't know why. Overall, I said that Ologo has a very good potential, but again, I want to find in about topics that aren't here, and the selection is, you know, is very small, of course. Uh, it, won't, it won't be, not now, it's not your Wikipedia, we can find information about things and learn about them, it's very limited in scope. Now, for this app to really to be able to grow, I mean, considerably, uh, it needs to be social and to have tools that allow users to easily create uh, their own uh, in Jig space, it's called Jigs, but whatever it calls here, you know, just uh, an air presentation for specific topics. Um, so again, it's something that uh, if the company wants to go with, uh, with uh, allowing more people to learn about many different topics, they have to implement something like this. And again, it has to be very accessible and easy to use. The other option just to mass produce those types of lessons, uh, you know, based on uh, uh, what types of topics uh, users want to see. But uh, yeah, I don't think this is the right way to do it. Uh, I prefer personally to, um, you know, like Wikipedia, you know, having people that can contribute to the community and create their own uh, 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 lessons. Um, I think this is a good solution. Uh, I wonder what the company, what Ologo will decide to do uh, in this particular app. And this is especially important considering the fact that uh, uh, you need to pay a premium price for this. Uh, a premium price, I mean, a price for unlock the premium content. So, again. This is something that uh, I want to see uh, how the company will tackle this. Uh, overall, uh, it's a very good app. I like these types of apps. Again, they're still lacking content, and this is something that I hope that uh, uh, will be um, be solved in a way so this can be a really large source, uh, learning resource of learning about different topics, uh, but in augmented reality. This is it, just a little surprise for you. Uh, eventually, uh, I entered this uh, temple that you see uh, in front of you actually somebody uh, come, came to me and told me why are you just uh, taking photographs of this place why you're not entering I said really I can enter this place so I hope you enjoyed this little surprise at the end uh, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you soon in the next video bye everyone bye bye so I didn't want to enter but the guy told me he just came to me and said go go inside go inside A beautiful temple, beautiful.
in the middle of the city. It's beautiful.